Hello everyone, happy to see you here and welcome back to my channel Brain Logic. Really interesting challenge today. We have 4 minus 4 times 4 minus 4. On the first side, this is like the easiest question you've ever seen because we don't have like nothing hard. We have like subtraction, multiplication. So everyone learned this stuff in the third grade. Everyone know about this mass operation. We have only subtraction, multiplication. We don't have like a huge and complicated expression like with, with hundred thousand right here. We have like a regular expression which is, which is fantastic for us because right here we need to solve this. Everyone make this mistake, I wanted to record this video, I want you to understand how can we solve this correctly. But before solving this I suggest you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself. Right here we have three options A, B and C. So right now choose one option, what do you think is a correct and write your option down into the comment section. First of all I want to start with this explanation. A lot of students do this common mistake. They say okay 4 minus 4 we have this expression times 4 minus 4. So one part of students solve this question like that. They say, okay, 4 minus 4 equal to 0, everyone know about it. And right here we have 4 minus 4, which is equal to 0 as well. So we have 4 minus 4 right here, 4 minus 4 right here equal to 0. And 0 times 0, we have we have 0. So one part of students solve it like that. We have this option A right here. And they say this option A is a correct answer to this question. And I want to say that in math, you need to know what is the correct order to do this problem. So because this solution is looks like you solve this problem as you, you want. So if you want to subtract at first, you want to subtract on the right hand side and you have option option zero. You have this option and you go to the next test. And I don't want to say that this is correct or incorrect. I want you to understand that in math you need to know what is the correct order to do this problem. Because obviously whatever order of operation you select is going to create a different answer, right? So you need to understand what is one and only one correct order of operation. And for this question I want you to look at this for example PMDMC order of operation. This is like the most popular order of operation in the world, all internet libraries, scientific graphing calculator works according to PMDMC. But I would say I respect every other order of operation, for example BODMAS, I respect it, but let's solve this question according to PMDMC, okay? So here is our question and here is our order and let's solve this. So we have 4 minus 4 times 4 minus 4. Okay, I don't want to tell that this is correct or incorrect solution. I want you to, to look at this PMDMC order of operation. So the first step according to PMDMC is parentheses. As I told before right here, we don't have any parentheses. So we just we just skip this part right here. We don't have any parentheses. So we just we just skip this part. We don't have it. Which is really great because imagine you have like a parentheses to the power 20. You need to raise these and we don't have it. It's really great. Next step, exponents. What about exponents? Maybe squares, cubes right here. No, I don't see any of those. We don't have any exponent, which is which is brilliant. We don't have any exponent and we skip this part as well. So we don't have um, these uh, first two steps, which is which is really great for us. Okay, multiplication and division part. Let's look at it. Multiplication and division part. Let's find this multiplication or division sign right here. Let's look at it. Uh, we have subtraction. We don't need it. We have subtraction on the right hand side. Yeah, we have this multiplication in the middle. Yeah, and it is really interesting because right here we find our first step. We don't have parentheses. We don't have exponent. We have multiplication. We don't have division. But we, as you can see right here, addition and subtraction is our last step and we don't have any addition sign right here. We don't have any addition sign, but we have subtraction sign. And I want you to understand one really interesting and key moment. This is like a key moment to all this question. Multiplication is before subtraction all the time. Multiplication is before addition all the time. Division is before addition and subtraction all the time. So we need to do all the thing with multiplication signs and then you need to add or subtract. This is maybe the key moment. I hope you, I hope you understand this thoughts right here because this is very important thoughts. So we have 4 minus 4 times 4 equal to equal to 16, so minus 16 and minus 4. So as you can see we don't have any zero, which is absolutely wrong. I will explain you in one minute why this is absolutely wrong solution. So we have 4 minus 16 minus 4, which is equal to minus 16. This is like our last step to find this subtraction part. We just subtract it and we have minus 16, which is option, option C. 
And a really important moment why this is absolutely incorrect, because we cannot do subtraction and then multiplication. As I told before right here, multiplication is all the time before addition and subtraction. But with parentheses, if you put brackets right here, then it will be a correct solution. Yeah, with parentheses, our first step is parentheses. Now we need to uh, subtract these parentheses. Now we need to subtract this one in parentheses, which is, which is really great. And the answer is zero if you're talking about parentheses. But we don't have any parentheses. So we forget about this zero, which is absolutely the wrong solution. A correct answer is minus 16. And if you know, um, maybe a mass trick right here, we have, uh, looks like, look, 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 we have 4 minus 4 times 4 minus 4. Look at it. 4 and minus 4 we can easily cancel. This is like a mass trick right here. We can easily cancel this because you have 4 minus 4. And minus 4 times 4 give us this minus 16. So this is like another method to solve it, but I wanted you to understand this step-by-step -step method with this uh, PMDMC. So let's write our answer. Our answer, this is option. Option C is a correct answer to this question. So I hope your answer is the same as mine, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. I wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.